In previous video, we have gone through Arduino programming for LED blinking with physical Arduino, physical LED wires and all those stuffs. Now today we will see how to do Arduino programming for LED blinking program, but with the help of your virtual Arduino without having our physical Arduino board and wires LEDs. We will see how this programming can be done with the help of Tinkercad. So what you need to do is you need to Google it Tinkercad. Here you will see first website Tinkercad.com. You have to open it. Here you need to register yourself. If you are a teacher, you need to create your account. If you are a student, you need to join the class. I have already created my account. So let me sign in. I have my Tinkercad account. So I'm signing in with the help of my Google account. I will show you how to do this coding, how to do programming with the help of your tinkering. It is called as your tinkering or tinker CAD. So I have created this account for my official mail. Let's start with it. This is the dashboard of my page. Here, what I need to do is now we will start the same program of blinking of LED using Arduino, but in virtual mode. So for that purpose on your dashboard, what you need to do is you need to create new design. You need to click on create new design here. Our design will, it will going to divert our window on new page. So we will see. Here you can create all those 3D models, whatever you want to do, you can create like this. So in this way, this is the dashboard of our new design. What you need to do is you need to create our, now we will see, we are not concerned about this part. So we will go through the circuits. Here you can see in this panel, there is an option called as circuit. In this circuit, you need to click on create new circuit. It will open this part. Now this is the panel of our circuit designing. Here you can see on the screen in left hand side, there are some menus. In this menu, we can add new design. We can select wire type. We can select the color for wire. Everything we can do here like this. In the right hand panel, we can see there is a resistor, capacitor, battery, breadboard this is arduino uno everything is there now we will see the coding part or we will see how arduino can be used for led blinking so we are going to select this arduino uno this is what arduino uno we are going to use over here now my next requirement is i want led so take this led here along with this led we have used breadboard. So we have this breadboard. Take this breadboard over here like this. Now what we need to do, we need to do the wiring connection for LED and breadboard with the help of your Arduino. If you remember in my last video, I, I told you about we are going to do the connection for pin number 13 of Arduino. So pin number 13 is built in LED pin or it is your built in pin for your VCC and for LED. There are two pins. First one is your cathode and second one is your anode. Anode is nothing but your VCC and cathode is nothing but your ground. So what we need to do is we need to do the connection between your Arduino, LED and breadboard. So select this wire. My wire color is green and I'm using normal wire. So this positive wire, I'm going to connect over here. Let's say like this, then from here to here, this is my VCC connection. Now I'm doing ground connection. So just for the sake of our use, we will change the color. Now we are going to use it for negative like this. 
then it will start from this location to we have to connect in the same line so it will be like this now this is my vcc and this is my ground these are the connection that i did but what i need to do is i need to connect this for arduino so this is my ground pin so for arduino ground is at 8 9 10 11 12 13 and this is ground 14 so i am connecting this over here in the same way i am going to connect this 13 number pin over here let's say we will connect over here like this let me show you once again all these connections so that you will come to know how we have done this connections i am taking led breadboard and arduino now my next requirement is i need to connect my led with this particular breadboard and with the help of your arduino uno so what i will do is i will connect this led like this now i cannot directly connect led to this so i require this breadboard or we can directly connect led to arduino also so pin number 13 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 this is pin number 13 this pin number 13 is for your vcc and ground will be for your negative or we can say cathode so this connection will be like this here it will be like this this is my vcc connection now i'll do ground connection so this ground will start from here and it will start from this to let's say here its color will be let's say green and i'm changing the color of this also let's say for ground i have used green color now i need to connect this now this is my anode so i will connect this anode to here this is my vcc so it will be connected here it's red in color so i will change it second this is cathode that is your negative so i will connect it here it will be of green color so i will change its color to green this is what the connection for your arduino breadboard and led now we will see the coding part you can see here in this panel this is the coding part in this coding part what i want to do is i want to set the led so led will be set to high for one second and led will be set to low for one second if you want to change you can change it over here like this you can change like this this is what the coding part here we can see that this coding part is already done like this if you want to change you can set to low if you want to change this you can set like this if you want to change seconds to millisecond you can again change like this so this is what pin setting and this is your delay and we will see the simulation part you can see led is blinking like this for one second high low high low this is because in first step led is high for one second and in second step led is low for next one second this is what your arduino simulation for led blinking program virtually with the help of tinker cad we can stop like this here there is an option to stop this simulation when we click here it will stop blinking the leds and your arduino connection will be disconnected this is what the coding part of your arduino programming and it will look like this here you can see output can be displayed on the serial monitor if it will going to generate some output in the text format it will be displayed on this serial monitor it is not of use right now for us so it will be the simulation like this this is what you can create virtual arduino programming or you can create virtual arduino for your any program any iot assignment with the help of tinkercad thank you